We just got a call from a woman who said she saw a dog that she thinks got hit by a car. He was limping on the side of the road and just collapsed. So I grabbed Mo and Earl and jumped in the van. An injured dog could pose some, some problems for us. They're in pain. The dog could act out in an aggressive manner. They could get hit by a car, um, cause an accident. There are so many things that are dangerous about this situation, you know, not only for the dog, but for people as well. Oh my God, it doesn't look good. As I pulled up, I saw this dog. I thought he was dead. Oh. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, baby. What is that smell? The first thing I noticed was I could smell infection immediately. A lot of infection. Okay. Earl, well, so this dog was in bad shape and needed immediate help. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Whenever I get these calls of injured dogs, I automatically grab a blanket to use as like a stretcher. You know, trying to get the dog onto the blanket and picking him up. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. No, it hurts. It hurts. I began to touch him in little spots to see if I could get him onto the blanket, and you know, he flinched from pain. Oh my God, it hurts watching you. When dealing with an injured dog, especially one in this bad of shape, you do have to be careful. A dog in pain could easily, you know, just lash out and potentially bite without any warning. Like your mom, just care like a baby, care like a baby. Here's the whole way, here's the whole way. It's okay, mama. That that's infection. That smell. Smell, yeah. no. that's infection. Yeah, that's infection. To smell that bad, it's had to go on for days. This dog could have had internal injuries. Um, it could be dying of infection. There were already patches of skin that were starting to fall off and rot, and you could actually smell it. He's in really bad shape, and we have to get him to the vet now. Um, yeah, this is the Alamos Rescue Center. Pitbull Rescue. We're bringing in uh, an emergency. Uh, he was hit by a car. Okay, People, dogs, animals, living creatures, they can die from infection. And this is the issue at hand now. And just wandering around in the heat and laying in the dirt, that was long enough for the infection to take on a life of its own. A woman spotted him running down, not running, hobbling down the street, and then he just keeled over in a front yard. It's, there is puncture wounds. I started to get a better look at the dog and realized he hadn't been hit by a car. His injuries were from a dog fight. Puncture here. Yeah, they're, they're bite wounds. That's what this is. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. He had bite wounds all over his head, his chest, his front legs, which is absolutely telltale signs of dog fighting. It is possible that this dog was used as a bait dog, which is horrifying to think of. Bait dogs are used to basically train other fighting dogs. If the bait dog even manages to survive, they're just discarded like trash. Some bleed to death, some just die of infection. Oh, look at that. It's all the infection. See all that? Look at that. The puncture wounds that were in his ears and in his face, I mean, they were still dripping blood, which means they were fairly fresh. Not He's got a lot, of, a lot of punctures, and especially the area that they're in, they're all up around his neck. He was tossed out and wandered on the street. But um, it's definitely infected. That's a tooth mark. Oh, the other teeth. Oh, you knocked a tooth out. Down here in New Orleans, we do have a lot of dog fighting. If you don't have a winner, he will be on the street. And uh, that's a prime example of a dog losing and being kicked out to the streets. So we're gonna get him on some pain medicine and some antibiotics, and we're gonna clean them all up and assess the extent of everything. When these guys have bite wounds, especially if the you know the infection is deep and has been going on for a while, we worry about pockets of infection that we can't control. We, you know, we worry about them actually becoming septic. Are you okay? You know, the vet's sticking you know an IV in his leg, and they're poking and prodding, and um, 
I lean forward to look at one of his injuries. Jim, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. My new family. <laughs> and just out of nowhere, he just, big old kiss, right upside my head. Despite all the pain he was in, despite all the abuse that some human being did to him, he still loved people. You gotta love a pit bull. Look at your tail, look at your tail. Look at your tail. Just sleep now. If there ever was a dog that needed prayers and hopes to live, it is this dog. We just have to wait by the phone and hope for the best.